Hi, this is Dr. Tiffany Jackson, naturopathic doctor at Natural Medicine Now University. Thank you for joining this webinar, The EcoHealth Approach to Preventing Disease. I am the founder and owner of EcoHealth Wellness Center and Detox Spa in Charleston, South Carolina. EcoHealth is my brainchild and is the reason I was inspired to create Natural Medicine Now University, a series of webinars to educate patients on the importance of gut health, liver detoxification, diet, nutrition, and natural health solutions. EcoHealth is a term that I coined that implies that our body is an ecosystem, and in order for health to be maintained, the microbes that make up the ecosystem in the GI tract must be in proper balance. EcoHealth also implies that the increase of chemical exposures in our environment play a significant role in the epidemic of disease and illness in our country. This webinar will go over the three pillars of EcoHealth, the six organs of elimination, and I will teach you natural approaches such as infrared sonotherapy, Megan massage, drinking alkaline ionized water, and detox programs to help keep your body in balance and prevent disease. So let's get started. Your body is an ecosystem. The human body is inhabited by billions of bacteria. The bacteria we possess are an ecological community. Most of the time, this microbial ecosystem coexists peacefully within us. Many of our microbes help us digest food, strengthen our immune system, and even protect us from dangerous pathogens. Healthy people typically carry low levels of harmful bacteria in their bodies. But when a person is healthy, these pathogens don't cause disease, they simply coexist in abundance of beneficial microbes. When the normal flora of the GI system is disrupted, it shifts the ecosystem, which can lead to disease. Living with these microbes demands a biological balancing act. To understand your body as an ecosystem, I want to use a lawn analogy. So just take a moment to think about your front and your back lawn. Over the years, things like weather, bugs, animals, kids, weed eaters, pesticides, they've all wrecked your yard in some way. The grass grows out of control in some spots and won't grow no matter what you do in others. The soil lacks nutrients. Weeds are tangling into your shrubs. Your neighbors are embarrassed for you. So what do you do? You can't just put new grass and flowers on top of the old. They'll die too. And now you've wound up with even a bigger mess. You have to clear the landscape, pull the weeds, trim the hedges, mow the grass, install a sprinkler system, clean out the flower beds before you can fertilize and hydrate the lawn, plant new shrubs and trees and flowers, and lay down fresh pine straw. Your body is no different than your lawn. It is an ecosystem. Over the years, between medications, an imbalanced diet, exposure to everyday toxins, improper hydration, and stress, your internal ecosystem, just like your lawn, has suffered, and now you are feeling the effects. The EcoHealth approach zeroes in on this inner ecosystem imbalance and on toxins and deficiencies that have wrecked your internal environment. Toxins and deficiencies that have now created this long-lasting negative effect in your body like low energy, digestive issues, brain fog, difficulty focusing, stress, anxiety, depression, weight gain, and many other common chronic diseases. And yes, even diabetes and cancers. The goal of the EcoHealth approach is to identify what has damaged your inner ecosystem. This is based on the EcoHealth 7R program that you will learn about shortly. But first, let me review the three pillars of EcoHealth. In my experience working with a wide range of health issues, it has become clear to me that there are three pillars of disease. If each of these areas are investigated and addressed, symptoms naturally resolve and are replaced with good feelings of health, energy, and well-being. The first pillar, is gut health. Second pillar, detoxification. Third pillar, nutrition. I'm gonna discuss these three pillars in detail. So first, let's start with gut health. The first pillar, optimal gut health. It is astonishing to think that there is a pipe, one tube, from the mouth to the anus that lives inside of us that actually connects to the outside environment. 
Our gut flora, or the collective bacteria, that's the ecosystem inside of us, is symbiotic and has a direct relationship with the functioning of the body. Extensive modification and imbalances of gut microflora are associated with disease. This is why at EcoHealth we say health begins in the gut. Many health issues also have chronic gut infections that can cause leaky gut, yet many of these go undiagnosed and untreated. These infections could be viral, fungal, bacterial, or parasitic in nature, and they may have existed silently in people's bodies for years. By the time it's chronic, it has caused major problems with the immune system, and the immune system now starts attacking their body, their joints, and reacting to different foods. Leaky gut is such an important topic to understand that I want to go into it in a little bit more detail so you have a full understanding of what it is. The term leaky gut is used to describe a condition of hyperpermeable intestines, which is a fancy medical term that means the intestinal lining has become more porous with more holes developing that are larger in size and the screening out process is no longer functioning properly. The fallout results in larger undigested food molecules and other bad stuff like yeast, toxins, and other forms of waste that your body normally does not get exposed to, but now they are flowing freely into your bloodstream. So now that you have a general understanding of the definition, let's find out what's really going on. The intestinal lining is the first mechanism of defense for your immune system. The outer layers of the intestinal cells are connected by structures called tight junctions. At the tips of these cells are the microvilla, which absorb properly digested nutrients and transport them through the epithelial cell and into the bloodstream. During the normal digestion process, these tight junctions stay close, forcing all molecules to effectively be screened and only pass into the bloodstream through the mucosa cells. If these tight junctions become open or permeable, they allow other molecules that shouldn't be there to fall directly into the bloodstream. So now what happens? The first reaction your body makes to these foreign molecules into your blood is to fight like crazy. Initially, your liver has to work on overdrive to detox these particles that your intestinal lining was supposed to be taken care of. In most cases, the liver has no chance of keeping up with this constant flow of waste into your blood and all of these toxins, undigested food molecules, yeast, and other pathogens that are accumulating in your body. This causes your immune system to go into overdrive. It goes on to a full battle mode to fight off these intruders and get them out of the body as soon as possible. More often than not, the body cannot keep up with this task. And now these foreign bodies are absorbed into tissues throughout the body, causing them to inflame. Inflammation is an immune response and causes even more stress on your system. Now your body will begin to produce antibodies that were designed to fight these foreign proteins. So now you are even more susceptible to food sensitivities and they're triggering other immune responses in your body. So now people end up with autoimmune diseases such as chronic fatigue, multiple sclerosis, IBS, ulcerative colitis, and fibromyalgia. What causes leaky gut? Diet. Consuming high amounts of refined sugars, processed foods, preservatives, refined flours, and flavorings, and artificial flavors, that introduces massive amounts of chemicals into the body that is seen as toxic. If your body has a hard time keeping up with the toxins and they start to build up, then it will cause inflammation. Chronic stress. Chronic stress almost always results in a suppressed immune system. A weakened immune system cannot handle doing its normal job, and it gets overrun with pathogens very quickly. This increases overall gut inflammation, which leads to increased permeability of the intestinal lining. Inflammation. Any type of inflammation in the gut can lead to leaky gut. This can be brought on by low stomach acid, which passes undigested food into the small intestine, irritating everything it passes by, candida yeast overgrowth, infections, parasites, and excessive environmental toxins. Medications. 
Any medication prescriptions or even over-the-counter pain relievers with aspirin or acetaminophen irritate the intestinal lining and decrease the mucosal level secretions. This can damage the intestinal lining and lead to leaky gut. Yeast. Yeast is found in the normal gut flora, but as soon as it begins to get out of hand, it mutates into a multi-cell fungus, usually candida, that grows tentacles to grab onto the intestinal lining and literally punch holes into the lining. At EcoHealth Wellness Center and Detox Spa, I find that candida yeast overgrowth is one of the most common reasons for leaky gut. This is because most people have been on multiple rounds of antibiotics for chronic sinus infections, acne or other skin problems, and urinary tract infections. Signs and symptoms of candida yeast overgrowth include constipation, diarrhea, IBS, gas, bloating, rashes such as eczema and psoriasis, sugar cravings, and chronic itching like something's trying to crawl out from underneath their skin. The EcoHealth approach to detecting some of these underlying chronic infections, candida overgrowth, food sensitivities, are convenient blood and urine testing. Check out our website at naturalmedicinenow.com for more information on lab testing. So now let's learn about the second pillar of EcoHealth, detoxification. So what exactly is a toxin? A toxin is defined as any compound that has detrimental effects on cell function or structure. Some toxins can cause minimal negative effects, while others can be fatal. The modern advances that have occurred over the past 50 years have surrounded us with hundreds and thousands of new chemicals, many of which are known to be highly toxic. The increased use of the industrialized toxic chemicals has also resulted in unprecedented level of poisonous chemicals currently being released into our environment. With billions of kilograms of synthetic chemicals being produced in America alone, and with the production doubling approximately every 10 years, the toxic situation appears to be escalating out of control. What most people don't realize is that we end up ingesting many of these chemicals, such as pesticides, preservatives, additives, pollutants, through our food and through food containers. We absorb toxins and chemicals through our skin from cosmetics, toiletries, treated wood, sprayed plants, treated areas on public parks and golf courses, in our bath water, drinking water, and swimming pools. We inhale toxins from solvents and cleaning products, car fumes, industrial wastes, and environmental pollution. The reality is that our bodies were never designed to protect themselves against this form of chemical onslaught. And the other fact is most people have some form or another of leaky gut. So now more toxins are getting into the bloodstream that shouldn't be there in the first place. So as a result, our bodies have hit their max total body burden and are unable to process and remove most of these chemicals out of the body. So they're left to start building up inside of us. The consequence is this continuous slow poisoning that has been linked to the development and triggering of an increased number of diseases such as asthma, autoimmune disease, cancer, diabetes, cardiovascular disease, and thyroid issues. In order to keep up with this overload of toxins that we're exposed to, the EcoHealth approach finds it imperative to support all six organs of elimination. They all must be working optimally in order to avoid storage of toxins in your body. The six organs of elimination are the liver, the bowel, the skin, the lymphatic system, the kidneys, and the lungs. So now I'm gonna review each one in detail. The liver. The liver is the largest solid organ in the human body. It receives about 1.5 liters of blood per minute and is involved in three major vital functions that are essential to our body, cleansing, synthesis, and storage. The cleansing function of the liver collects many toxins, transforms them to make them harmless, and then eliminates them. It destroys old red and white blood cells as well as certain bacteria present in the blood. It destroys the toxins that come naturally from the waste products produced in our body, such as ammonia, as well as toxins that we ingest, such as alcohol. It neutralizes the pharmaceutical drugs we take after they have had their effect and thus prevents dangerous accumulation. 
The synthesis function of the liver is involved with metabolizing carbohydrates and lipids, such as cholesterol and triglycerides and proteins. It has an essential role in the production of coagulation factors to prevent hemorrhaging. It is also involved in the production and secretion of bile, which is stored and concentrated in the gallbladder to help you absorb fats. The storage function of the liver stores the fat-soluble vitamins A, D, E, and K, and glycogen. It stores energy in the form of sugar and makes it available to the body in case of need. It is imperative to keep the liver functioning optimally, so the EcoHealth approach to supporting the liver is to do a detox program. For the liver to eliminate toxins from the system, it needs certain vitamins, minerals, and amino acids. These are all used as cofactors for many of the chemical reactions used to process and eliminate the toxins from the liver. The EcoHealth approach recommends doing a 7-day, 14-day, or 21-day detox program a couple times a year, preferably at the change of the seasons. Potential benefits of detoxification, most people feel increased energy, weight loss, reduction in body fat, healthier skin and hair, more restful sleep, clearer thinking, happier mood, and they begin to establish more healthy habits. There are different detox programs available. Visit our website, naturalmedicinenow.com, to learn more about all the different programs that we offer. The bowel. The bowel is a major route of elimination of toxins from the body. As food is ingested, it passes through the digestive tract and it is continually broken down and the nutrients are absorbed along the way. Toxins and waste are excreted into the stool, thus protecting the body from toxic accumulation. If constipation occurs, then toxins are reabsorbed into the bloodstream. In order to adequately eliminate toxins through the bowels, one needs to have one bowel movement daily. Optimally is two to three bowel movements a day, unaided by laxatives, coffee, or other stimulants. Ideally, bowel movements are easy to pass. They involve no straining, blood, or mucus in the stool. The characteristics of bowel movements in stool is that it's medium brown in color, fully formed, yet loose in texture with no undigested food, passes with ease, and does not break apart in the toilet. Hard pellet-like stools or compacted fecal matter is a sign of constipation and poor elimination. The EcoHealth approach to having a healthy bowel is to make sure you're getting adequate amounts of dietary fiber to promote decreased transit time in the colon, which is essential to assist in the elimination of toxin through the bowels. Also, we recommend hydrotherapy, specifically colon hydrotherapy, and drinking enough water so the colon is fully hydrated. In addition, a lot of the detox programs that we offer contain a lot of soluble and insoluble fiber and bentonite clay that will help keep your bowels healthy. Skin. Your skin is your biggest organ. Elimination of toxins from the skin is achieved through sweating. Sweat stimulated by exercise, a fever, or from the environment, from the summer hot weather, or infrared saunas, is a way for the body to rid itself of toxins which are stored in fat tissue. If the elimination of the other organs are not adequate, the skin is often the overflow route. Therefore, assessing someone's skin health gives information about all of the primary routes of elimination. Soft, clear, well-hydrated skin is a sign of proper elimination. Adequate sweating when necessary and not over oily skin are also signs of good skin elimination. Acne, eczema, dry skin are all indication that poor elimination of toxins are occurring in one of the primary routes of elimination. The EcoHealth approach to skin support includes using skin brushing and avoiding toxic chemicals and lotions and cream. At EcoHealth Wellness Center, we use an organic skincare product line called Eminence. My favorite way to support skin detoxification is through infrared sauna therapy. So what is infrared sauna therapy? Sunlight is a combination of visible light and invisible light. The seven colors of the rainbow are visible lights, and infrared rays and ultraviolet rays are invisible lights. 
Infrared rays are one of the sun's rays. Infrared rays are the healthiest and they penetrate deep into your skin and they dissolve harmful substances accumulated in your body. Far infrared waves penetrate deep into your body for a deep heating action which allows the body to activate the sweat glands. The sweat glands offer one of only a few mechanisms that the body has to eliminate toxins. And since the skin is the largest organ in the human body, it is apparently a very good means for elimination. The infrared rays also vitalize your cells and your metabolism. When you sit in an infrared sauna, there are infrared heaters that warm the body in the same manner as natural sunlight. The far infrared heat uses a wavelength of visible and non-visible light spectrum that heats the body normally. Traditional saunas raise the temperature of the air to a very high level within the chamber to warm the body. Some people have difficulty breathing in this extremely warm air. Far infrared saunas work differently. Instead of heating the air within the enclosure, far infrared saunas heat the body directly. The result is deeper tissue penetration. In the far infrared sauna, the body perspires and receives all the health benefits, but avoids the harmful and extremely hot air of the traditional steam sauna. When the far infrared waves are applied to water molecules on your skin, the water molecules begin to vibrate. The vibrations reduce the ion bonds to eventually break down the water molecules, causing encapsulated gas and other toxic metals to be released. Far infrared heat provides all the healthy benefits of natural sunlight without any of the dangerous effects of solar radiation. The infrared waves have the potential to penetrate 1.5 to 2 inches into the body and raising your core body temperature from deep inside. Basically, you're self-inducing a fever, which when you think about it, can also kill off unwanted pathogens that are in your system. Not only do people get full body detoxification benefits from being in an infrared sauna, but they also feel energetically rejuvenated and balanced from being in contact with the infrared waves. At EcoHealth Wellness Center and Detox Spa, we have saunas on site to help with patients and their detoxification programs. The lymphatic system. The lymphatic system is the vacuum cleaner system of the body. The lymph system is a unique system in the body and is the primary defense against pathogens and foreign bodies. The lymphatic system, unlike the arterial system, does not have a pump to move fluid. Movement or muscle contractions are needed to stimulate the movement of lymphatic fluid. By engaging in movement, the body is able to move lymph and allow for circulation within the body, which will eventually find itself to one of the elimination organs. As the lymphatic system's main role is to protect the body and remove bacteria and toxins, adequate movement is essential for proper functioning. By not engaging in movement and exercise, the lymphatic fluid becomes stagnant. Then proper elimination cannot occur. As one engages in exercise and movement, the circulatory system is forced to keep up with the demands on the body. This creates that internal movement with the body, which allows for all the mobilization and movement of toxins towards the proper organ of elimination. The EcoHealth approach for supporting the lymphatic system encourages exercising, specifically brisk walking, and also the use of a trampoline, also known as a rebounder. But my favorite support for the lymphatic system is the Megan Thermal Massage Bed. A Megan Massage Bed is an infrared heat jade stone massage bed. The infrared heat is projected through the jade massage heads that travel automatically up and down the spine, the neck, the head, and the legs. The jade stones are said to contain healing properties that hold the heat as it provides your body to release and relax and detox. Release of the stress is further stimulated when the massage heads apply stimulation to acupuncture and pressure points, providing a soothing relaxation to your body. The Megan massage beds blend the philosophy of Western and Oriental medicine as it works on five basic principles, chiropractic, massage, acupressure, acupuncture, and heat therapy, also known as moxibustion. Benefits of Megan Massage are increased circulation of the lymphatic fluid and the blood. Jade stones heal stressed organs and release toxins. 
It increases metabolism and reduces pain from arthritis, fibromyalgia, muscle soreness, and muscle spasms, and promotes deeper sleep cycles. The kidneys. The kidneys filter blood as a means of maintaining homeostasis and physiological pH within the body. The urinary system is the primary system responsible for excretion of metabolic waste. Normal urine is a slightly yellow, clear, not cloudy, odorless, and one feels relieved upon finishing. Dark, concentrated, odorous urine is a sign that the body is overburdened with toxins. Also, just know that some B vitamins can change the color of the urine to be bright yellow. Not drinking enough liquids puts a great deal of stress on the body. The kidney function is likely to be affected and gallstones, kidney stones are likely to be formed and the immune function can be impaired. So it's extremely important that water is one of the most critical nutrients that you can drink to support your kidneys. The eco-health approach to supporting your kidneys is to make sure you drink half of your body weight of ounces in pure, clean water. Urinary support can also be achieved through acupuncture and certain herbal teas. Since we're on the topic of the kidneys, I want to talk about the importance of water. Water is so vital to our health. In fact, water is the most plentiful substance in our bodies, and it constitutes over 60% of our body weight. Each day, our body requires an intake of over two quarts of water to function optimally. The problem is most of our water supply is full of chemicals, including chlorine, fluoride, lye, heavy metals like lead, mercury, asbestos, as well as bacteria, viruses, and parasites. Chlorine is used by a lot of municipal water districts to keep the reservoirs free from bacteria. However, when ingested, chlorine produces acids that can harm cells in the body. EcoHealth recommends the Kangen Alkaline Ionized Water System, which produces pure filtered water that works to restore an individual's pH levels. It removes the contaminants, but it keeps the important minerals. The Kangen water system removes the inherent risk and dangers in tap water from the municipal water sources and provides consumption of healthy, clean, pure water. By converting tap water through electrolysis, the Kangen water machine produces super hydrating water that is also high in antioxidants and it has the alkaline minerals. For our patients at EcoHealth, we have a Kangen water machine filling station in our teaching kitchen where patients can come in and fill up unlimited amounts of purified, clean, alkaline ionized water to keep their body hydrated and detoxification pathways working efficiently. Visit EcoHealthWater.com to watch educational videos and sign up for my ebook to learn more about the benefits of Kangen water. The Lungs the lungs are responsible for elimination of carbon dioxide with every breath. Carbon dioxide is a natural occurring toxin in the body. The breath is a major way for the body to maintain homeostasis. pH balance in the body is achieved through breathing and optimal kidney function. Most people are really shallow breathers. Breathing high in the chest doesn't allow for optimal oxygenation in the lungs, which further will translate to lack of oxygenation in the tissues. So learning to breathe deep into the lower lungs through diaphragmic breathing is an essential part of proper oxygenation of tissues and toxin elimination. The quality of the air you breathe is also important. Indoor air is typically two to five times more polluted than outdoor air. Home insulation, so wonderful for keeping our homes warm in the winter and cool in the summer, it does not allow fresh air in, so we're constantly breathing the same stale air. The wall-to-wall -wall carpeting keeps us cozy, but it can introduce a myriad of toxins into our well-insulated homes. It can trap dirt and fleas and dust and mites and even lead. Many of the cleaning products we use to clean our furniture and bathroom and windows are all full of toxins that permeate the air that we breathe. The EcoHealth approach to lung support minimizes exposure to this polluted air. The first rule is no shoes in the house, as most household dirt and pesticides and lead come from your shoes. So just go barefoot or wear slippers. Keep the air clean in your home. Keep your windows and doors open as much as possible to ventilate and use plants as natural air detoxifiers. Place a plant in each room of your home. 
Do not use air fresheners in your home or in your car. And do not use toxic cleaners for your dish soaps and your laundry detergents. Other lung support techniques include steam inhalations with using essential oils, deep breathing exercises, and doing yoga. One last note on toxins. Your mood and emotional state can play a large part in the ability to eliminate toxins. Pent-up emotions can lead to feelings of toxicity, which is negatively impacting the way that the body detoxifies. Leading a stressful life with negative emotion predisposes the body to stagnation. Stagnation refers to the lack of internal movement. As internal movement is essential for eliminating toxins, these negative emotions can negatively interfere with the body process of elimination. Holding on to emotions or not letting go of emotions will directly impact the function of the intestines. In Chinese medicine, the intestines are related to mentally letting go. If someone is unable to release and express their emotions, the function of their intestines will be altered and the body will not be able to eliminate toxins. So when trying to approve elimination, it is imperative to calm your mind, let go of emotions, and create a space for healing. And now pillar number three, nutrition. The eco-health diet. The EcoHealth diet plays a large role in the body's ability to eliminate toxins as well as minimizing exposure to toxins. The EcoHealth diet can be described as eating clean foods with minimal processing and avoiding unrecognizable chemical ingredients. The EcoHealth diet is also about balance. Your body needs all three macronutrients, proteins, carbohydrates, and fats to stay energetic, build muscle, and perform vital bodily functions. The EcoHealth diet is rich in vegetables, fruits, plant proteins like legumes and lentils, whole grains, olive oils, nuts, seeds, fish, and plenty of herbs and spices. Here is a snapshot of the EcoHealth nutritional basics of the major foods to eat and not to eat on the EcoHealth diet plan. You will notice that some of the commonly perceived healthy foods are on the foods to exclude category. This is because common foods like wheat, dairy, and soy often create negative reactions in the body. Overall, most people feel better and notice huge improvements in energy and the way they feel when they eliminate these common food allergens and follow the EcoHealth diet plan. Two staples in the EcoHealth diet are leafy greens and fermented foods. These foods are the key to success on the EcoHealth diet plan, hands down. Please visit our website at naturalmedicinenow.com to learn more about how to make a balanced green smoothie and how to cook your own fermented foods to keep your gut in balance. So here's the chart of what I like to refer to as the EcoHealth vicious cycle of disease. Now that you have learned about the three pillars of health, this chart kind of pulls it all together. So as you can see, health begins in the gut. If your gut has holes in it caused from toxins or candida or foods, now things are leaking through and overloading the liver. So now when the liver is overloaded, this causes detoxification problems. So downstream, this is causing oxidative stress and free radical production in cells and in tissues, which means it's causing a lot of inflammation and wrecking havoc on the cells, damaging them so they're not working optimally. So now this is when people are having health problems. They're complaining of joint pain and gastrointestinal problems and chronic fatigue and skin infections. So then what do they do? They take a drug, they take a painkiller or an antibiotic or NSAIDs. Most of these drugs have a side effect of causing intestinal damage and inflammation. So now we've just made the problem worse. We have more inflammation in the intestines and then also these drugs have to be converted by the liver. So now we've overloaded the liver even more. So now we have more problems that start to occur. So this vicious cycle of disease keeps going round and round and people just keep getting sicker and sicker. So enough is enough. Stop the vicious cycle. EcoHealth is here with the 7R program to help get your body back in balance. The 7R program is rule out, remove, repair, restore, replace, reduce inflammation, and rehydrate your body. 
To rule out, you first must do some testing, whether that's looking at food sensitivities or maybe you're doing an organic acid test to look at candida or you're testing for bacterial or fungal infections. Testing is absolutely optimal so we can rule out infections and imbalances in the body. Next is remove toxins. And this is removing reactive foods and gut pathogens and caffeine and alcohol and sugar and toxic chemicals in your home and anything that you could be exposed to that could be exacerbating and causing your immune system and detoxification systems to work harder. You need to remove those so we can fix the problem. So now we need to repair the gut. Repairing the gut involves a delicate balance of certain vitamins and minerals, amino acids, certain herbs, and probiotics. I highly recommend finding someone that is specialized in natural approaches to healing leaky gut and detoxification. Next is restore nutritional deficiencies. Most of us do not have a balanced diet, so we are lacking certain amino acids and vitamins and minerals. So it's critical to get on a really good, high-quality multivitamin and make sure you're also supplementing correct amino acids so that the liver is optimally functioning. And next is replace. This is referring to replacing digestive secretions, such as digestive enzymes, hydrochloric acid, and bile salts. If these levels are abnormally low, then you are not absorbing and utilizing nutrients adequately. So make sure that you are taking certain digestive enzymes or taking hydrochloric acid or supplementing the bile salts so you can make sure that you're absorbing your protein, carbohydrates, and fats optimally. Next is reduce inflammation. You can reduce inflammation in the body by using antioxidants such as turmeric, ginger, quercetin, and then also increasing your healthy fats like fish oil and eating a lot of avocados and salmon. And finally, rehydrate. Most people are chronically dehydrated, so it's very important to drink optimal amounts of pure clean water, specifically alkaline ionized kangen water if you have access to it. And the rule is drink half of your body weight in ounces of water. So over the last 50 years, the number of people with degenerative diseases has increased dramatically. People are developing diseases at younger ages and new illnesses such as chronic fatigue, autism, fibromyalgia, chemical sensitivities have started to emerge but are already affecting a large percentage of the population. The EcoHealth approach is the answer. The EcoHealth approach can help you decrease your exposure to toxins, keep your gut healthy, and keep all your body's elimination organs fully functioning optimally. Our EcoHealth practitioners are experts in creating personalized detox plans and gut programs for you. We offer laboratory testing to determine what's burdening your system, and we can help heal your gut and correct nutritional deficiencies. Thank you so much for joining this webinar. I hope you now have a better understanding of the EcoHealth approach. So take action and prevent disease. Keep your inner ecosystem in balance by supporting the six organs of elimination, detoxing regularly, and following the EcoHealth diet plan. If you would like more information on EcoHealth, or if you're interested in seeing me for a patient consult or have me speak at your event, please visit my personal website, ecohealthwellness.com. Thanks again for joining me for this webinar. This is Dr. Tiffany Jackson wishing you a happy and healthy day.